And that was Desperate Measures from Falling Through April off their new album, Zodiac, right here on In the Pit, Penn Creek Radio, brought to you by the Lehigh Valley Health Network Studios. And I'm so excited because this is the first interview of 2018, and tonight it's all about Falling Through April, and I've got Michaela on the phone with me right now. Hello, Michaela. Hi. I'm so excited to have you here. How are you doing? I'm awesome. Zodiac, your brand new album comes out tomorrow, just a few hours. Um, what is your feeling right now? How is the band feeling? What's what's going on for you guys? Well, um, we've been getting great reviews, so I'm just really excited to hear from everybody else, you know, um, mm-hmm. their favorite songs, what they get from it. Um, so far, a lot of people are really connecting on a deeper level with some of the, of the songs that they've heard, um, like With You in Mind and Coast to Coast. I've heard from a few reviewers. Uh, they were raving about it, and that is so fulfilling. Like, I've been kind of, like, timid, you know, to share mm-hmm. my music, and because a lot of this stuff is really personal for me. So I'm just excited to hear whatever, what everyone thinks and uh, their favorite songs. Well, yeah, definitely. Uh, from the few songs that we've heard, I mean, I, I fully understand. But I, you guys have such an interesting past. So before we dig into this new album um, that I'm super stoked, let's go back for a quick second and if people haven't heard of you guys, inform them about your history a little bit. Like, how did you guys get to this point? Yeah, um, well, the guys have been around for, uh, like, five years before I think I met them. And they uh, they found each other on Craigslist. Um, there were at least two of the members first, and then Jim caught on, and then Dan caught on, and then I found them. Uh, they have been kind of going through different lead singers um, over that time. Um, their singers just usually like just found a different career path they wanted to take. So that was hard for them because they felt like they were getting like um, high up there on the pole and then just like the guys left them. And so yeah. they had to start all over a few times. And so with me, they felt I was a really um, good fit. We, um, you know, we got along and we all had the same passion and style of music that we wanted to create, which is funny because Zodiac actually doesn't even have one certain specific style. It's like all over the place. Yeah. A little bit of a pop sound, rock, punk. So mm-hmm. um, we've had a blast in the making of Zodiac. So was this like your first real band? Yes, definitely. Wow. First album, first recording, studio time, um, first time playing on stage with a full band. Wow. Um, so it's been a year of like learning a lot, and they've been great with kind of just helping me um, get, you know, get ready for this definitely. as a front woman. <laughs> yeah, wow. Um that's 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 crazy. That's awesome, though, how far you guys have come in just a year with you being involved. So mm-hmm. so now Zodiac releasing tomorrow, Friday, January 19th. When was it then that you guys were like, okay, let's start working on this music? When they met you? Like, how did this come about? Oh, yeah, immediately. We're like, we need to get something for the world to hear. Like, we're going to make our own product, and um, they want to get back on the road. They were missing touring, and so, yeah, we... Right away, I think we wrote this album um, in about two months, and then we went to Nashville, um, and we recorded the album. It took us about maybe, like, two or three months, just because all of our schedules were conflicting. So we had to go separate times. It was, it was chaotic, but yeah, we tried to <laughs> get it in. Yeah. I mean, hey, if you guys still got to go to Nashville and doing that, like, wh- where did you record it exactly? Um, we went to our friend John King. He's a great producer. He helped me uh, write a lot of the songs. Like he co-wrote them, and he has his own studio with uh, page-to-page music. So he helped us out with that. Awesome. So, what was the vibe that you were writing for this album? What was your mindset? Um, in every song, I feel like it starts in a dark place, but it ends with a sense of hope. You know, I wanted reality, but also. Um, just encourage and enlighten people, mm-hmm. you know, say whatever we're going through, it's all similar. We all hurt, but there is, you know, another way to maybe look at life. We can shift our perspective and find happiness in this dark world. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I like that feeling. And you can sell that with your first signal. Now it was desperate measures. We took a listen to it. Um, it's like a hard hitter right out of the gate. And I mean, even the music video as well, why did you guys want to make this song your first single? What was it about this song? Truly, I feel like it's the most like commercial friendly song we have. It's like also, um, yeah, it's more like alternative rock. Like I said, there's a, mm-hmm. a lot of different style in Zodiac, um, and so we just felt that this one would be most popular. Okay, so you guys like you kind of just 
threw out music. It wasn't like, okay, we have to stick to a specific genre. You guys just felt, it seems like you produced what you felt was good, basically. Yeah, we just had fun with it, pretty much. We were just like, hey, if we like it, I have fun playing it, then we're going to go with it. And so there was, yeah, a few were like, should we have this on the album? But we're like, oh, but it's so much fun to play. And I think uh, the story uh, with some of the songs is just like a must like for people to listen to that's awesome well we've already gotten to hear a few of the songs and if that's anything like the rest it's gonna be good it's gonna be a hit um Mm -hmm. out of the remaining songs i know we're all excited to hear the rest of them but what is a certain song that stands out to you that you're excited for people to hear um with you in mind it's one of um, the last tracks and it's really just talking about like i was talking about earlier you know shifting your perspective and being Mm -hmm. like the present moment you know rather than focusing or stressing on the past or future it's just like look where you are now and um find joy in it but also it talks about when people even like social media kind of live this fake life or something you know and people are just trying to be somebody else yeah. and so a lot of the songs it's really just like soul searching you know um so with you in mind it is one of my favorites and strongest so i'm really excited for people to hear that one that's awesome um and I mean, speaking of that, you know, how you guys, I guess, are presenting yourself on social media and through your music and stuff. Do you do you see um, a change, I guess, with hearing your songs now, like on Spotify and stuff? Um, how does how does that help you guys with um, I'm trying to think of the word. I can't think of the word. Um, uh, like, um, uh, like on Amazon and Pandora, like, does that changing how you guys are approaching music at all with music streaming? Um, I wouldn't say that. We're just trying, I mean, I like with, um, Spotify, we're able to get on, like, different playlists, mm-hmm. um, with similar, um, artists, and so that's really cool how, I mean, it's really exciting like, how many listeners, you know, and followers we're gaining just because yeah. of that alone, but with our approach of kind of, like, showing off our music i we're just trying to get on everything yeah. <laughs> and um you know it's gain popularity and uh right now we're stoked because our music video for desperate measures is playing in like 23 different countries oh, and every like wow. foot walker That's so awesome. it's it's growing and uh yeah we just keep trying to push it definitely um i have to ask because i'm a huge astrology fan why zodiac um like i was saying with some of the songs for me the theme was just kind of like finding yourself and you know creating your own, like, fate, pretty much. And I know people, um, you know, follow the stars and almost just, like, kind of are easily influenced and in this world, especially because of just how, um, I don't know, just to fit in, stuff like that. Um, So with Zodiac, I felt it went with the whole, like, fate theme. Like, you know, it's in the stars or you can, like, you can write your, um, you know, write your story. And so that's kind of, it felt like it went perfectly with the whole theme of the album definitely uh, i think there's something so very special to take from your music as you were saying just from now you guys in general talking with you um and not putting yourself in a box and doing what you feel right is that kind of like the message you want to give your fans what what do you want them to take from your music or just you guys as a band in general um i would definitely want them to listen to it and just know that we are real people that you can totally relate to and that we we care about you know our listeners like we want our fans these people at home like our followers to be like family every every city we go to like we just want to get to know everybody you know and hear how hopefully we've positively impacted them or something um so i just want to connect i want them to know that this isn't just to make music and be in the spotlight this is an art that we've you know um love creating with each other awesome i mean we've been talking about it now all night um and just just from talking to you and listening to the few songs now, it's going to be huge. I can't stress it enough. I mean, this right now is one of the big releases, I think, for 2018, and it just started. So how can people get a hold of Zodiac? How do, can they check you guys out? Um, you can go straight to our website, sadeasyfollowingthroughapril.com. Uh, go to our store and pick it up right there. We'll mail it out to you. And also, if you have iTunes, you can get it on there. Oh, sweet. Um, again, people got to check this out. Zodiac is coming out tomorrow. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, I mean, you are going to become this, I have a feeling this stand up women in music. Um, and there's so much going on right now with music and women and everything of the sorts, but 
Yeah. How, how do you want to, um, perceive things? How do you want to, you're going to be one of those like Haley Williams or, you know, one of those people, how do you want girls to, uh, move forward and just be who they are? Do you have something that you want to tell them? Um, and they're exactly like, be who you are. Like, don't, you know, don't change who you are for somebody else. Mm-hmm. I know <clears throat> in the music scene, you know, it's very easy to kind of almost like just sell out in a way where you're the way you dress and what you say. And that to me was always so important for me to, um, not settle for, you know, being what they want me to be. Yeah. Um, and so that's what I want every girl to do, you know, I feel comfortable in your own skin, you know, and just laid back, jeans, t-shirt, no makeup, like, just do you. <laughs> and no, I, I don't want girls to feel like a pressure to please anybody else or find that, I know everyone's insecure and we have to fill these voids sometimes, but that's just, uh, to me, that's never been the answer. And I hope to, um, you know, just bring out the strength in every girl or even male listening. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah definitely. Um, I Yeah, so everything you're saying, I'm super stoked for your guys' future. And I'm really now stoked because before I let you go and you get ready for your big release, I have a new song here for people to take a listen to. And I'm going to say I was obsessed with Desperate Measures when it first heard it. Now this song. And every time I hear a new song by you guys, I'm just so engrossed. Yeah. That's so good. Um, So Seven Tries. Tell me about this song. This one um, is about relationships of course Mm -hmm. and say one of you screw up and i mean it's forgiveness you have to have forgiveness and give another chance like i have um my last longest relationship i um i was so grateful for every chance he had given me to be like hey you you, you messed up Mm -hmm. you want to try again and it changed me and helped me grow up and i really feel like we shouldn't give up on people even if they do something to hurt us and just kind of look deeper than okay what's going on in their head and their heart that makes them this way and so seven tries is about okay seven shots do it and you know yeah. seven lucky numbers so i thought that sounds kind of cool yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean it fits so well with this album between fate and following it just it all fits so perfectly together and uh i'm so excited for people to hear it for you guys i'm so excited for people to hear this album one more thing before i let you go because i know you're a busy lady uh, give me just your one quick view of why people should get this album. I'd say um, the music is killer, a lot of fun to dance to, mm-hmm. and I really feel like it will touch your heart and speak to you guys on a different level, which um, is really important because I feel like you know music is like soul food. You know, mm-hmm. what you put in your head is probably what you're going to speak out, and I just want to spread positivity and truth. So I really hope you guys... Um, listen to it it's awesome I, I love it i love what you guys are about michaela thank you so much for taking some time and chatting with me this evening i'm so excited for this release for you guys this new chapter for the band um so just congratulations for the release and what you guys got coming up thank you thank you absolutely. love that you're sharing it appreciate it absolutely uh what does the rest of 2018 have to offer you guys Tons of shows. We're gonna um, we're starting booking now all around the United States for sure. Goal is in the summer to go international, but we'll see. But yeah, totally. Finally, we get to play all the songs from um, Zodiac, so we're super excited to start doing more gigs. So just uh, you guys can follow us on Facebook. That's pretty much how I keep up with us. Yeah, <laughs> with our calendar <laughs> um, there, and we're on, on the app Bands in Town, or you can go to our website that I mentioned earlier, FallingThroughApril dot com, and yeah, check out our toy. Awesome. Well, thank you again. And all right, let's let people end things with seven tries. So, Michaela, if you want to introduce this song, we will take a listen. All right. Love it. Hey, you guys, you're listening to seven tries here for the first time. <laughs> 